The only true way to test out a new building is to sleep in it, even if it's not meant for sleeping. So we slept in here last night and it was pretty good. Sleeping in a sauna before it's built, I'd recommend it. It's dry, there's no bugs. All right, there's a couple bugs, but I'm not hungry anymore. We bought waterfront vacant land and we're turning it into the ultimate recreation getaway. My goal is to inspire you to grow up and make stuff of your own. If I can do it, then you certainly can too. We're building a sauna. We built the main structure in the last video and now we're making the drainage for the floor and adding a door and window. All right, so today we're going to be putting a sloped floor in the sauna for drainage. So we've got a drain here and we're going to be building up these pressure treated strips in a square on a gradual slope out to the wall and then laying down dirt rock and then skim coating it with a vinyl patch that should be waterproof. Hopefully, we'll see. So I've measured out six inches. We're gonna put six inch, every six inches we're gonna put a strip of wood and we're gonna start at, you know, like one eighth and then one quarter inch and then three eighths and then so forth. And then that should create a gradual slope for water to run into the drain. It's been a really hot couple of days, so we've been taking lots of swim breaks and the occasional wakescape break if the water's calm. We were going to lay the concrete board right on top of the sleepers, but we were concerned that it would feel spongy, so we ended up packing cement between them. So we need to cut a hole for the drain here, and Katrina found this way to do it online with a couple screws, and uh, we're gonna try it. Good find, Katrina. We don't know what we're doing, but Katrina knows how to research stuff, so we'll be fine. We didn't come up with this method of making a sauna floor. I actually got a ton of inspo from Glenn over at saunatimes.com. He wrote this great ebook, and his website has a ton of great discussion as well. We ran out of the skim coat, probably because I made it a little bit too thick, but uh, it's working all right. It's not like the nicest finish, but there was going to be duckboard, which is basically these wooden, this wooden like floating floor above this, and that'll make it look all right. Time for the change room window. We scored this one locally from an overstock window supplier and it went in without a hitch. So we got this right hand outswing door with uh, six panels. The door has a couple dents so we got it at a discount. I hate this look but we're going to be doing something with it that's that'll probably surprise you so um, stay tuned for that. Did I mention it's hot out? 
You may notice my swim trunks change a lot in these shots. That's because I kept swimming and swapping into new swim trunks. So a good caulking gun has one of these. So then you do this and it kind of butchers it. So then you take a knife and you finish it off. Never trust the stupid gimmicks. The door and window we're in and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for following.